So honestly, one of the most interesting aspects of this episode to me was the introduction of Tony Topaz. And not just because we met Tony, it was because she is totally crushing on Jughead. And how long before that's a thing or she makes a move on him? I mean, will he like will he give in to the temptation or I don't know if he's feeling it, but can't you guys tell that, you know, she totally is into him? I was just like, okay, so that's a thing like that's going to happen. So I'm really enjoying the fact that Archie has like this army and they're going to try to go after this hooded person. Um, and as a lot of you guys suspected, this person is like a morality killer. So basically after they wrote that letter to be put in the paper, they said like straight up what they were doing, like why they killed Miss Grundy, why they shot Midge and Moose, who both made it out alive actually. And I'm not like totally sure why they shot um, Archie's dad, like based on morality. I can't remember what the reason given was. If you caught that, let me know. So based on all of these things, I just don't feel like we actually know this person after knowing what they look like, knowing their, you know, demographic, knowing what age they probably are. I don't feel like this is somebody we know, but that's where I have an issue. Like, I like where this is going. I like the fact this person is going after people who they feel like are sinning or whatever. And what about Polly? It was so good to see her again, but she's like running off and she's pregnant and that's just really dumb because like she said, she's like the perfect target for this person. But what bugs me, and I've said this before, is that I don't think we're going to be able to predict who this person is and that just kind of ruins the fun for me. I mean, I really like the darker twist that this season is taking. I like how it's a totally darker season. And I like the fact that there's this killer out here. And I like why he's trying to kill people. But like, I mean, how are we ever going to know? You know, how can we figure out who this person is? It has to be somebody we don't really know or someone we've never seen before. Or like one of the, a lot of people have been sending me like DMs and at, at messaging me saying like, they know for sure it's like one of the serpents and you know it totally could be but that is just so so boring. So Jughead definitely got attacked by these ghouly people and he didn't tell Betty the truth about that because he know, knew that she would freak out. But he did tell his new woman Tony. I'm just joking they're not together but see they're having this bond here like that's gonna happen. Um, and I did freak out for a second because Kevin got stabbed and I was like oh my god is every episode like this dramatic but it was only like in his dreams, or not in his dreams, but it was like, you know, he was just imagining what could happen. So I was gonna be like really, really shocked if they went there. But I think that this was probably the best episode so far this season. I do still feel like it was draggy in a lot of places. <laughs> um, not gonna lie, I don't know. I feel like maybe this whole season is gonna kind of have that tone. But like I said, I enjoy the fact that it's darker. I like the fact that we have this killer and what this killer is doing. But I think it's really, I mean, and maybe I'm wrong and maybe they'll surprise me, but I feel like it's just going to be destroyed because, for me anyway, because I can't theorize, I can't talk to you guys about who I think this person is because there's really limited options. I know some people thought it might be the sheriff, but I'm kind of doubting that even though last season he was one of my suspects. And then we only have like Betty's dad. And I mean, this is per this person is just not like in their right mind for the stuff that they're doing. I don't know. Like this person obviously has some issues and I don't know if Sheriff Keller is like that demented. Like they're like really demented. I mean, it's one thing to be like disagreeing with people being on drugs or I mean obviously Miss Grundy was a criminal but it's another to be like I'm gonna straight up kill him you know but we know this person who wrote the letter who they sent to Betty's mom is definitely the killer because they included like the hard sunglasses from Miss Grundy so I was like and some other things to prove that they were the killer so I'm like oh well this for sure came from him so the promo for next week looks pretty interesting because it looks like Betty gets a letter that they are doing all of this for her which is just twisted and weird and I, I don't really see the sheriff being like wanting to talk to Betty in that way or wanting to help Betty so again um of course we also know that we're going to have Betty's older brother in this season so he's definitely not old enough to look like the guy who we've seen with the the green eyes but I don't know if there's some kind of connection with that because I could see him wanting to protect her but he would have to be like seriously disturbed too maybe so I don't know but again I mean, unless we're seeing someone wearing a mask with a mask, like it couldn't be him because he's not that old. So overall, I thought it was just an okay episode, but better than the last two. But let me know what you thought. If you didn't know, I do a live chat every 
Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern on Riverdale where we can share our thoughts and sometimes we just switch to other topics and it's actually even more fun. If you guys have been to them, then you know. Thumbs up if you know what I'm saying. But I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year, so I would really appreciate if you would subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Um, I cover tons of shows and I listed all of those down below. But I hope you guys are having a great week. Thank you for your support and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the Kelly TV family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with all I'm doing.